What's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and I am playing set solo. And by solo, I mean duel, because duel is a solo lane. What if I just went this and acted like nothing else in the world mattered? Obviously, we go beads because Apollo is just going to two me. It's his two, right? His one is his, his two is his mez, his three is his dash. Yeah. Apollo is going to two me, and then I'll just look like an idiot who can't move. So instead of looking like an idiot who can't move, I'll look like an idiot who glows yellow and can move. Obviously, I bought Mannequin. Mannequin. What the fuck was that noise? Was that my thing despawning? Because that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but, um, obviously we bought Mannequin because it's the best clear in the game. Oh, hi. Hey, what's up, bud? How are you? I'm pretty sure I win this fight. That scared me. I have Mannequin, so... I mean, he has Mannequin too, but Mannequin lowers attack speed, and Apollo obviously relies on attack speed way more than Set does. So, yeah, we bout it, dude. We bout it. Shell down. All right. Cool. I'm gonna back now. See you later. <laughs> so annoying, dude. I'm actually gonna commit to Transcendence right now. I have beads and alt. Oh, baby, you did not. Oh, baby, you did not stay. You greedy boy. He just lose mid camps for that, right? And at best he affords full boots, at worst he just falls behind in XP. Auto attack please. That seemed not worth it to me. That's from an outsider looking in. He did hit level 5, maybe he ults me? I don't know man. All I know is catch me on red buff. Catch me on red buff with Mannequin Scepter. All mine, baby. No contest. That's how I win all my fights anyways. No contest. He's going straight into Berserker's first item because that item is good. Aff. Good aff. I missed everything because I'm pathetically bad at video games. But... Maybe I can get his blue buff. Not up. Well, that was good damage, though. Thank you for the blue buff. Good damage, good damage. Good clear, and now we back and get Transcendence. Honestly, even though I didn't get the first blood kill, it gave us a lot. So I'm, I'm definitely okay with this. He's overstaying once again to clear a wave that he did not need to overstay to clear. Which is beneficial for me. Off his back, which is way more beneficial for me. Holy Jesus. Holy crap. Stopping his back there means we can get his speed buff. He's actually mad about that. Alright, never mind. I have no boots, dude. I'm so slow. Wait, when did he get his speed? Why is it down? His speed should be up the same time my blue is up. Unless he just never did it. Until, like, he respawned that one time. Or, like, got back to lane that one time. Maybe that's what happened. Either way. I'm very happy with, uh... 
his choice to overstay and my choice to push. So there's really not much he can do here. Bro, how do I keep missing this garbage? Like, why am I this bad? That's, that's just terrible. There's honestly no, uh, nothing I can say about that. That was so bad. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, he drops red. Beat is up. Beyond. Just stopping his back. He did get red, but he also overstayed, and I got both of his buffs for it, so. Big reason why Mannequin is bad on Apollo? His mez doesn't work? Okay, but apparently his one hits me for fucking 300, which doesn't make any sense. And I also, I had Mannequin, and it should have slowed his attack speed, but I guess it doesn't enough because of his passive. Hmm. Really weird. Your middle tower is under attack. I can't help but feel that going Transcendence was not the call. Especially rushing it first. I feel like it was maybe too slow. Should have just gone boots and pushed. The shadows will not protect you. Oh, why are you here? Weird. You have slain an enemy. Okay, that was just... I don't know what the hell that was. But it was not Smite. I'll tell you that much. After all the smite we've been playing in this match so far, that was not smite. I mean, that was good damage, honestly. I mean, the more I poke, the more I win, right? Oh my god, the buff almost clipped me, dude. Buff, chill, holy shit. I almost pooped. I almost pooped, dude. Jesus Christ. So scared, man. Oh my god.
Um. Almost. Going Toxic Blade. Uh, I mean, he's slightly tanky, right? Because he got Berserker Shield, but it's not really a lot. I just go Burst Bull Demon. Oh, hi. Well, that was nice. Okay. He went super greedy there, dude. Trying to push me off of the red buff. Instead of, like... So his options right there, by the way... His options right there were to, one, give me red buff and get the wave, or two, fight me for the red buff slash wave. Either way, the must be purged swiftly. like, if he fights me for the red buff, he dies, right? Like, because he's not in the position. He's not in... Positionally, he's under his tower, but he's half HP. I have a wave pushing in. I'm full HP. He has Mannequin Scepter, which means his Mez doesn't work. It's just not a winning fight for him. His best play were, there was just like, let me get the red. That yeah, makes sense. Probably alt away. He has Mez, by the way. Keep that in mind. Good turn, Mez. Unlucky. Unlucky. But I do get Dominance, which is OP. If you don't know what Dominance is, it's a new item uh, that Season 8 added. That basically gives you 10% pen, but all of your auto attacks get 20% pen instead of 10%. So, it's very good if you're going an auto attack build. And I think I probably will. Like, I'll go Stone Cutting and eventually sell Boots for H of all. So, I think Dominance here is a, is a pretty good play. It's also super overstatted for 2300 gold. I think it's 23. It could be 25. Either way, it's overstatted as fuck. Oh, hi. You scared me. I missed. But it's okay. Because I have thorns. And that's the play. I missed. But that's okay. Because I have thorns. And that's the play. Oh fuck, blue's gone. All right. Um, I think I am gonna I'm gonna commit to this auto attack idea, stone cutting with dominance. I have void shield, which is it's a little bit of pen, but it's kind of weird pen. It just reduces their armor in an area. I don't really need this much pen to be honest. I think dominance is enough. He's going itch of all. Uh, Ichabal will fuck me up quite a bit. He sold his mannequin scepter. What a yikes. I mean, it's not terrible, because, like... Can I just have this? No. It's not terrible, because it was the one thing that was, like, stopping him from... From being able to mez me, but at the same time... It was also a pretty big deal. I'll just mess me here. I don't really care what he does right now. Because once I get my ult up, he's kind of fucked, right? Damn. 
Oh, why is it hitting me? He's alting. The alting? Could have altered. I can get this now. Upgrade my mannequin scepter so it now takes away 40% attack speed. As well as uh completely roasts jungle camps. Literally does 200 damage. Also works on bull demon. He's definitely doing bull demon, because I don't know where he is. He's not doing it. That's surprising. Will he ult me? Mannequin just did 2,000 damage to Bull Demon. 2k! Holy mother of god. That's a lot. I don't have my beads, but what I do have is my alt and my thorns. And my mannequin scepter, keep that in mind. Alright, we definitely fight him now, because we're alpha and we can just kill him instead of winning the game like that. So yeah, that's it's just so strong, right? Like set super OP, mannequin scepter super OP. I really like the dominance for the for the pen builds. I love that. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace.